Imagine you could travel back in time to a time long before man. Back across 65 million years. As you travel, you would see huge changes in the vegetation and the climate. Even the surface of the Earth itself would move as mountain ranges are pushed up by colliding continents. Now you've reached a remarkable period in Earth's history known as the Cretaceous. It is a very different world. The Himalayas do not yet exist, and the Atlantic is only half as wide. There is no grass, only conifer forests and fern prairies. This is a world ruled by dinosaurs. Giant reptiles like Tyrannosaurus, a five-ton predator, stalk the landscape. In Walking with Dinosaurs, we will show you how these magnificent creatures live, how they eat, fight, and reproduce. And you will witness how the forces of nature conspire to drive these animals to extinction. But this series will also take you back much further. Back to the Jurassic period, a time when life on Earth was at its most spectacular. The creatures here bathe in a warm, tropical climate. There are no ice caps at the poles. Flowers and broad-leaved trees are yet to evolve. In the air and on the land, the world is dominated by reptiles. And by far the most common are the dinosaurs. But they are not the only giants. Huge pterosaurs rule the skies, and below them, massive marine reptiles harvest the rich oceans. However, first this series will go back even further to discover where dinosaurs came from. This is our own Earth during the Triassic period. Here there are no separate continents, just one giant landmass called Pangaea. It is a harsh place, dominated by deserts. The Triassic has already seen many different varieties of ancient reptiles come and go. But now, out of this dry wilderness has appeared something revolutionary. A family of reptiles destined to shape the course of life on Earth for the next 160 million years. These are the first dinosaurs, and this is where our story begins.